So this is how the half wave rectifier is and here is the full wave rectifier. Both in half wave and full wave rectifiers it is observed that the output voltage RL varies from 0 to maximum value. Even though unidirectional current through RL is obtained, the output voltage fluctuates. The fluctuation in output voltage is not desirable, where pure DC voltage is required, hence they must be removed or smoothened. This can be achieved with the help of suitable networks that are called filters such as capacitor filter and inductor filters. And we will be getting almost a steady DC voltage. But this steady DC output voltage from a rectifier is not constant due to the following reason. As the load varies the DC voltage output is not constant. That is, as the current drawn from the rectifier increases, the output voltage decreases. So, we are looking into the filter circuit and regulation. So, the variation of DC output voltage as a function of DC load current is called as regulation. The percentage of regulation is given as the voltage at no load minus voltage at load divided by voltage at load into 100. The DC output voltage varies directly as the AC input voltage to the rectifier. The line voltage from AC power may not be constant may vary from 200 volt to 240 volt. Hence the DC current output voltage will also vary. To overcome these kind of difficulties we introduce a Zener diode as regulators and it is used along with the rectifier and filter circuit and they are called as regulated power supplies. So we got our rectifier connecting with the Zener diode will become a regulated power supplies. 